Every manager has a different pressure to deal with. Simon Grayson was sacked as Sunderland manager this week just 125 days and 18 games after being appointed. Grayson paid the price for failing to arrest the club's slide to a record equaling 19 home games without a win. Jurgen Klopp is perceived to be under pressure at Anfield as he is judged against what Liverpool did in the 1970s and 80s. If he is judged by the recent standards, then Klopp is actually doing relatively well after getting them back into to the Champions League. They are fine margins at stake. And never more so than at West Ham where, it would seem, Slaven Bilic is on a hiding to nothing. Grayson was axed minutes after Sunderland drew 33 with Bolton. They were ahead at one point in the game and, ultimately, a manager's future and a club's philosophy can be decided on one goal. West Ham boss Slaven Bilic knows he is going image camera sports surely it cannot be like that. But it is similar also for Billing because he is back to being under pressure on the strength of conceding a 97th minute equaliser at Crystal Palace. It is sheer and utter madness and no way to run a football club. West Ham beat Tottenham in the League Cup and that was a huge result for Billick. Then went 20 up at Crystal Palace, were leading 21 into injury time and then a moment of madness from Mikel Antonio concedes possession and allows Palace to grab an injury time leveller. Crystal Palace 22 West Ham Wilfred Zaha nets injury time equaliser then two days later, Billick reads that he is back under pressure as the club's hierarchy was not impressed by the way they conceded a late goal. That is just crazy. Why not just put the owners in charge and see if they can stop Antonio making a schoolboy mistake? It is embarrassing. West Ham conceded a 97th minute equaliser away at Crystal Palace image Jordan Mansfield but it also leaves Billick in an impossible situation. Billick's contract is up at the end of the season. He knows he is going, the players know he is going and under those circumstances it is difficult to motivate a dressing room. Billick has never lost the dressing room, the players are still playing for him and yet there have been various points this season that the West Ham manager has thought he would either be leaving the club or would get the sack. West Ham's recent home defeat to Brighton and the defeat at Newcastle earlier in the season left Billick thinking it was the end. But it just raises the question as to how anyone can work like that. There must be something wrong at Sunderland where manager after manager fails. The owners have to look at themselves. And the same must go for West Ham. Patience is required because no manager can go from game to game and be judged on one goal.